you started here uh, very young uh, with the Academia with Mr. Alberto Zetta and uh, after that you were your professional debut was here in the Viaggio Rems and then you went on singing Sigismondo and many other operas. Can we say at this point that Pesaro is considered your homeland artistically speaking? I have started my musical education as opera singer, solo singer in Germany. So and there and my professional debut was in Germany, so I have seen everything in every staging, every kind of staging, you know, this famous Regie Theater. But uh, I consider uh, this town, this hometown by, uh, of Rossini, as my, my career was born here. And it was in 2006, and Alberto Zedda invited me uh, to participate in his uh, Academia Rossiniana. And I did two roles. Uh, I learned this is like in Corinne in three days. Uh, I have found four white hair here <laughs> because it, it was such a stress you can't imagine. So, and after that, uh, yeah, practically every festival I'm here. And my career, international career, it's, uh, everything started here. I remember my first uh, 2009, my first uh, Belcanto concert uh, here. <laughs> I had some like a cream dress, very beautiful. And it's changed the color because I was so sweat. <laughs> so it's just like in sound. And yeah, but it's, uh, you know, it's Pesaro. Uh, we love Pesaro because of this as well. And uh, yeah, it started here and uh, late in 2010 I was uh, Aldimira in Sigismondo and in the orchestra pit was my future husband. So Pesaro has uh, given me my love. <laughs> At this point in your career, basically you're having success in all the major opera houses over the world. So at this point, Rossini, yes, is, you know, one of your main composers, but you're also, you know, looking at other composers. So what are, you know, your future engagements and where do you think your voice is probably going now? Not only looking, but singing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Rossini is very healthy music. And uh, if you can sing Rossini, you can sing ever, everything. I can't say I will sing uh, Turandot in 10 uh, years, but I mean, on this bass, you can create uh, a repertoire for my voice. And I can, uh, would like to stay so long as possible in the Belcanto roles. And I have sung many of them. And uh, in America, for example, my debut in Metropolitan uh, was Puritani, Elvira. So, and uh, I will come back in November with Rigoletto. It's another role what I did with. 150 times and the Gilda and I love it so much. Uh, it was my debut in Traviata this year and uh, I did it twice, first in Lausanne and then in the Baden Baden. Where it, uh, it was on Arte, I think, broadcasted. A uh, wonderful production of uh, Via Zon. Rolando created some uh, sort of special Traviata. It was not very simple for me, but it was very challenging. So I love challenges in my life, and uh, that was the challenge. Uh, Verdi will have the important part of my life, uh, I mean professional life, but I will um, divide it between, uh, let's say, between big cantoros. Yes. And because, you know, you, uh, it, it's very healthy, I, I told you, but because, you know, for, to sing big country, to sing Rossini, you should have the uh, very healthy voice without any, you know, uh, to be tired, because this uh, should be crystal sound uh, and without any, like, this, you know, yes, air, air in the voice. Through, yes. And uh, you have uh, this um, huge um, range. Of range. Of uh, I, I know what in Italian, but <laughs> range, in uh, range and high notes and low notes and everything very homogeneal because uh, without any register uh, changement Change. and uh, that's uh, that's the base of, uh, of every singing. Sing of singing. Sing. Yes. Exactly. So I would like to st uh, to stay in this repertoire as long as possible. I sung ten roles by Rossini. Uh, and uh, one role it was for Colburn. You can hear yes. how my, my, my voice when I'm uh, talking because uh, I started as mezzo soprano, can you imagine? 
So, and uh, one Foniata, the doctor for the boys, mm -hmm. uh, told me that, uh, that my apparat, apparat vocal, uh, it's like for, for dramatical soprano. It's strange. A little bit <laughs> like Korma that she started exactly. as a mezzo. You know, it's a of. difficult question because, you, you know, uh, the high mezzo sopranos is like a tradition. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, because it's a very heavy, heavy orchestra and it's uh, written very low. I mean, very low, no, but low. Yeah. And uh, but mezzo sopranos have, have enormous difficulties, and where I don't have any difficulties, the top notes, you know. Notes. And uh, this all these scales, and it's it kills <laughs> mezzo -sopranos. sopranos. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, we it's don't know what the voice it was. You know, <laughs> just I have my opinion. It's a soprano with a big range. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and now a very typical question for an opera diva. <laughs> what is your dream role if you have one and if it's Rossini or I live in my dream actually mm. everything I wanted to sing I, I'm singing sing. now and uh, yeah I live in my dream uh, only one role that I will never ever sing but I would like to it's Carmen <laughs> and it started from Carmen because because of Carmen I wanted to sing on the stage of Marinsky theater and I was in the children choir <laughs> and uh, that's all. I just uh, I know this opera, you know, by heart, every note, and I will never ever sing it. It's such a <laughs> peel. Oh my god. Um, pity. Uh, everything I wanted, I see. And oh, I will see. You will. Uh, absolutely. This year, in 2015, you will be singing a Bel Canto concert here at the Rossini Opera Festival. But now we want to know when are you going to come back on stage? And if you're going to come back on stage, is Michele Bagliotti going to be the conductor? Unfortunately not. Or maybe it's good, you know. Uh, it will be the next, I don't know if I can tell you now, uh, but I will. <laughs> uh, it's a big secret. Tour uh, in Italia, I will be Fiorilla in new production of uh, Livermore uh, with uh, Speranza Scapucci as conductor. So, two. Women. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, my first collaboration with her and with David. Uh, David. <laughs> and uh, yeah, looking forward. Come to see us. And Michele will be here, but in 